Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do a spring reset part one, of course. <laughs> self-care we're gonna do some spring nails and yeah just the routines and life in general we're gonna reset things we're gonna refresh things for the new season so that everything's fresh and crisp so i'm super grateful that winter is over we don't have to freeze when we step outside which is a great blessing thank you so much for that so obviously spring reset means just resetting and refreshing every single thing and so obviously i had to do some kind of prepping for the week years ago i used to prep for a whole month i would have the whole month calendar and i would have a lot of things planned for the whole month all through march i have been trying different routines and different habits and right now i'm just focusing on like getting one week done so i focus on one week getting all the routines and habits done for that week so yesterday i sat down and planned for the upcoming week which is monday to sunday and also we'll be entering april this week which is super exciting and after trying out different habits through the last couple of weeks i've realized that i need to stick to only three habits at a moment like so focusing on like very practical habits and routines is very necessary for you to make it sustainable reading 10 to 15 pages a day so i'm still reading the seven husbands of evelyn hugo but it's like i have like very little left so after the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i'm gonna jump into where the crawdads sing i've heard so many good things about that book so i'm really excited to read that and the second habit is working out so i do have a whole week of workout plan right here and i'm also filming the week of workouts it's very beginner friendly and like a very simple routine and plan most days just step out and go for a walk for one hour which anyone can do so yeah it's simple things so that i can easily get into the habit the third habit is setting an intention for the day i want to write down to-do list for the next day at least three priority lists of things that i want to get done every single day and also one intention for the day so it could be anything like be disciplined or be patient be kind not saying that i'm not disciplined or i'm not kind but just focus on that thing for that day which i genuinely feel if i actually lived according to that intention it makes me feel fulfilled and happy so that's our end goal right just at the end of the night at the end of the day when i'm going to sleep i want to be happy and i want to have a peaceful mind and just happy that i took care of myself and i'm being the best myself i even did a weekly calendar of everything if you're someone who's working couple of jobs or if you have school and you have a part-time job then things are not going to work out yes things will change priorities might change every single day and it's not something that you can control so i like to plan for one week and even with this week there has been changes not everything you plan will work out the same so give yourself that space that gap where you can kind of move around you know that quote that says if you fail to plan plan to fail it's so true just plan ahead it helps so much you have a vision of what things are happening and it helps you like so much and you don't have to make so many decisions in your head every single time you have to do something because it's all planned ahead and you're good to go so obviously today did not start today for me it started yesterday hi guys i just got back from work and i have the worst headache like oh my god it's sunday night and yes i work on the weekends so and i think it's probably because i tied up my hair really tight today but i don't know it's really bad the headache's super bad i couldn't take my hair out because i had these braids yesterday and they like crimp my hair i could look scary after this but sorry i need to take them off yeah that's what my hair looks like oh my god <laughs> it's bad but there's nothing for me to do that's my hair was like just a bit oh my god that's scary oh my god i look scary 
after I took a quick shower, I felt much better last night. And every night I put on my humidifier. It's the tiniest, cutest humidifier you can find on Amazon. I'm so happy that I even have it because it's just become one of my routines to put on the humidifier and then go to sleep. I used to struggle so much when my nose used to get super dry at night and I can't breathe anymore through my nose because it hurts because of the dryness but now it does not happen at all um, but I would like to invest in a bigger one better one wherein I can actually add like essential oils or something so it would be even better um, lavender essential oil in your humidifier at night oh my god I'm manifesting that so good it would feel so good I already had envisioned what my day is going to be I already had the plan of vlogging and I also had the plan of starting my workout routine and everything so I could just go to sleep peaceful knowing what's happening I did set an alarm for 5 45 thinking that I can wake up at 6 go for a walk which will be the start of my workout routine for the week walking is the best best therapy for my soul the hot girl walk or the summer hot girl walks don't miss out on that it's so good yes it's not hot girl walk maybe yet because the days have been gloomy but it's not freezing outside so if you can please get outside it feels so good but then when i woke up at 5 45 it was raining it was pouring and I was like, um, okay, so that means no walking right now. Um, I woke up at like 7.30 because it, it stays dark until like 7, 8 now. I started with my routines. I checked my journal, set my intention for the day. Also, I had a presentation at 10 a.m. today. So before my presentation, I wanted to feel refreshed. So I did not have my coffee. Instead, I had a green juice. So I did get myself a couple of these cold pressed juices from Farm Boy. So that was my like tiny gut refreshing moment, which I really enjoyed because not having coffee and having something like that to refresh yourself is so good. And after my presentation, of course, I changed and I went for a walk. It was very good. The cold air hit in my face. That's just my favorite thing. When I've sat in the house for a while, I love getting out for a walk. Walk. I called my parents when I was walking and they could hear the birds chirping and they were like, where are you? Like, are you in some kind of bird sanctuary or something? There's so many birds. And I'm like, I know, they're all just so cute. And they're just so happy that winter is over <laughs> and spring is here. So yeah. So I walked for one hour and then I came back and I made myself a coffee because we need coffee for sure. Just not first thing in the morning, that's all. I sweat like crazy inside that jacket. Even though it's like minus one degree outside, I was still sweating. I could feel it. And by the time I was back home, my t-shirt was just sticking onto my body. I need to go take a shower now quickly. I'm really excited. Then I need to make myself some lunch. Do my journal, take off all the things that we did today, and yeah, I'm excited. And then just get ready and leave for college, and then I have work. So, yeah, I've been super productive and I'm really enjoying this. Like, cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna go quickly take a shower and come back. got out of shower and 
My eyebrows are all over the place. I have really bad nails. And my skin feels super dry. So I thought I'll give myself some, some grooming. It's, it's gonna be yuck. So initially I'm just gonna start off with my eyebrows. And I'm gonna shave off some peach fuzz that I have, like right there. So after shaping my eyebrows, this is what they look like. I shape them myself always like you can see a comparison and you can also see a comparison on my face and the peach fuzz like you don't see much peach fuzz anymore. Hola. So yep, I just finished my skincare which is just basically a moisturizer, a really thick moisturizer. Squalene from Ordinary, of course the Caffeine Eye Serum from Ordinary again. I'm also using the Lash Serum from Ordinary. I don't have a before picture for God's sake. I forgot or I just did not think it would work. But look at my lashes like oh my God, they are just thriving. And I honestly believe it's because of the ordinary um, lash serum that I'm using. I just started using it consistently, like every day in the morning as well as at night. And I feel like I'm seeing a great difference in my eyelashes. Like they're just thriving, you know. Sunscreen from Olay. And that's, that's my skincare routine. I have a lot of moisturizing products on because I scrub the hell out of my face. So yeah, I'm going to eat my lunch and also try and do my nails. I only do my nails on my left hand, which is weird to some people. But yeah, I, I don't grow my nails on my right hand because I do eat with my hand. And also did my nails. They look so spring like like look at that so many colors and flowers i thought i'll just do plain white nails but then i had these stickers and i was like i should stick them on like why not and then i tried a french tip and failed utterly but i don't want to show you middle finger but yeah failed utterly but still it doesn't look that bad so i'm gonna leave it on i will be reading my book later on because i have to leave in like one hour for college and then i have work after that so that was that and with that i am going to end today's vlog of first spring reset routine if you're watching this video and if you want to start your spring reset routine then by all means you can start it whenever you want. You can start your reset or refresh routines anytime you want. It's your wish. Go kill it. Go crush it. That's all. Of course, the core of spring reset is always a spring cleaning. Um, I know I cannot do a complete spring cleaning routine because my roommate's moving out. That's why my room is so messy. And hopefully I might move out soon as well. Let's just hope. So in that case, I don't want to just start cleaning right now because things are going to get really dirty later on. Um, but I do want to declutter. So my spring declutter will happen very soon. I already have like a whole pile of clothes right there, which I do want to donate. But I want to do one more decluttering before I go ahead to Goodwill or anywhere to just donate my clothes. So if you guys do like watching my videos or if you just watched this video till the end, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys and I really hope to just stay consistent here. I'm super excited for what's coming and I love this. I love the organization. I love having routines. I love writing things down. I love when I have to check things off it it just makes my soul happy thank you so much for watching guys love you all so much bye